Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for your time checking my video. This is my review of the McFarlane Collector's Edition Firestorm. Uh, I think this is the Crisis and Infinite Earths version, but um, I'm not really sure if this is the correct version. Although, I must admit, I haven't really read that Crisis on Infinite Earths. I know it's one of the best storyline from DC, but yeah, I just really haven't had my... Uh, I don't know, I just really haven't had any chance to read it. And if you guys all know, I am more of a Batman fan. So I am more updated on the events that is more focused on Batman's on the Batman family instead of the entire DC universe. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, please leave a like and subscribe if you like my videos. This will really help me a lot in making more of these videos. Now please enjoy. Now first, let's look at the packaging. So... This is basically, I guess, the going to be the standard McFarlane Collector's Edition box wherein it says DC Multiverse Firestorm and it is chromed which I guess is part of the additional cost why this is more expensive and then on the side, this is McFarlane Collector's Edition Firestorm Crisis on Infinite Earths and then it's number 4 So, the back, there's a picture of Firestorm which is not the same as the figure I think this is more closer to the classic version instead of this one I think this is the one that is the Platinum Edition I think in this case McFarlane made the right decision to make this the normal release and this the Platinum Edition because as I said if you are like me and who is more of a, you know, uh, focus on the classic versions of the superheroes. I like this more compared to this one. So I'm glad that, I don't know, my supplier actually randomly, you know, gives away the Platinum Edition. I was lucky on the Hawkman because I was able to get the Platinum Edition because unlike the Hawkman, McFarlane decided uh, to make the classic looking version the Platinum Edition and then uh, the, the, the more uh, black or darker version of Hawkman, the normal version, which I'm glad that in this case, I agree in this decision more wherein we should release the classic looking version as normal and then the Platinum Edition as the chase variant. Because not everyone, like me, I don't really go on chase variants and collect Platinum Edition. Except for that, when I saw that Hawkman, I really wanted to have the Platinum Edition. And I got lucky on the drone that one because my supplier gave me the Platinum Edition. And I already have a video on that. If you would like to see my review on that, just look at the link above. Anyway, that's the box, and I, get, I think one of the sense why this is a collector edition is if you are an inbox collector, because this is actually a pretty good box if you like to collect them inbox, and then it has number. It really is a good, you know, good ingredients for <laughs> ingredients. Sorry, it's a good, uh, good thing to have if you are really a collect, if you are really an inbox collector. Sorry, I said ingredients. I'm a little hungry right now. Now, since this is the collector's edition, it comes with the standard base, which is hollow at the back, and then the card, which I love because, you know, at least in this one, I like that they chromed out the McFarlane collector's edition. I like that. Then at the back, well, at least this time it's correct. Firestorm, Crisis on Infinite Earth, and that one. I'm saying that at least on this one it's correct because the one on Hawkman, 
the card that I got, it says a beast here. And then Batman versus a beast. I'm not kidding, that's what was written here. I'm not sure if this was a, that was a printing error for all. So for anyone who have that Hawkman figure, let me show you here. Look, in my Hawkman card, it says a beast. So for those who have a Hawkman, the Hawkman figure, can you check if this is really a, a basically a printing error for all? Or uh, is this just a one-time thing? Because if it is, then I think this is going to be rare. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. He also comes with the standard McFarlane stand, which since this is a collector edition, this is more the DC logo is more in the silver color. Now, as far accessories, I think somehow at least these figures kind of have more. So I think I can justify that it is a collector's edition because from out of the box, you see that he has those flaming punching hand and flaming, you know, clothed hand. And then he has this, you know, the other pair of the flaming punching hand and then this other fiery effect hand so basically he has a total of four you know firing hand flame hands and then aside from that he has the flying hands And then all the figures will always have a closed fist hands. And then a pointing hand. And then a grabbing hand. So at least when it comes to the alternate head department, I think they provided enough for this figure. But is it enough to call it the collector edition and its price? Um, honestly, I don't think it is. Anyway, enough of that. Now let's check the status of the figure. As I said, McParlane has been killing it when it came to the head sculpt. This is a good head sculpt. Uh, on the flaming head, they use uh, somewhat, well, it isn't really that clear, but I think it's okay. More, you know, translucent plastic, which I think is a good choice. The only comment that I can say in here that I don't like is the yellow. That, actually, it's not yellow. They use like this mustard looking, co mustard color thing instead of yellow. I don't know, I, I, I may not be that updated with the character, but I know that Firestone, when it comes to Firestone, this should be like clear yellow. I mean light yellow, not clear yellow, light yellow. But yeah, so maybe that's one thing that I don't... Well, it's not really a big thing. It's not really a deal breaker. The mustard color for me, I think it's okay, but it would have been better if it was a light yellow. Then I like the sculpt that they put on here, so it add it adds texture to the character, to the character's design instead of just being a flat surface. I think this is well done, uh, so it, it it is glued on so it doesn't move away. So I think that's a good design choice. As far as the diaphragm, it's it's well, the fit is, is okay, so that's not a problem, so that's A+. Plus. The orange, well, the orange is not a problem for me. The only problem for me really is the, uh, is the mustard color. So aesthetic-wise, I love the sculpt. It has text, uh, they, 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 had, they sculpted some texture on it. Actually, they sculpted a lot of texture on it. So 
I love Skull Poise, I love it. The only thing that I don't like on this one is the mustard color that they chose. Maybe just to add something on the aesthetic is the fire effects that they use. I think, I don't know, I think they should have made, they should have used a, a more clearer plastic instead of this orange one. But yeah, I, again, for me, maybe it's not a deal breaker, but it would have been better it's, if, if they used a more clearer red plastic instead of this, you know, orange, orange plastic. And they should also have done that to the hair. Anyway, again, not a deal breaker for me. Now let's go for the articulation. For the head, you can look down that far. You can look up that far, so that's good. You can look there, there. You can tilt side to side. So as far as head articulation, perfect. Now for the hand, you can do the pose you can do that then he has a cut he has a cut here double jointed elbow so yeah so standard McFarlane hand and shoulder articulation yeah, there's that bowl cup. Yep. Then for the ab and waist, so it has a waist rotation, it has a ab rotation. Together they can do that side to side like that. Then you can lean back like that. Forward again. This is McFarlane's weakness. They can bend forward that much so the range is pretty limited on that one for the leg you can kick forward that far you can kick back that far double jointed you can do that far Okay, mine's a little tight, but yeah, there it is. There it is. Then toe joint. Then you can do the bandan. Yeah, so standard McPerlin articulation, which if you are a, a character of this figure, it's uh, it's already for me it's already acceptable. If they are all there. The is it written here? Yeah, it is the 22 points of articulation. Although, to be honest, I haven't really counted them yet. If it's really 22. Maybe someday, I'll, I'll, when I have some time, I'm going to check. But I'm not sure. Is, are they, is it really 22? Man, considering that McFarlane figures are my main, it's the main line that I collect, I should be aware that if it's really 22, Anyway, as for the articulation, standard McFarlane articulation is available on this product. Overall, yeah, this is this is a good figure. As far as the sculpture, I mean, yeah, sculpt. This is an okay figure. This is a good figure. All the articulation you would expect for a McFarlane figure is there. Yeah, the, as I said, the only problem I have with it is the mustard color, color instead of a light color yellow. But yeah, this is a good addition to your DC Multiverse roster. At least it is, it is, it is a good addition since it is not another Batman. I like that McFarlane is really starting to dig deep on the character roster of the DC Multiverse. And for a Firestorm figure, yeah, I could I would recommend this. Um, is it worth the $30, $30 price range? Um, and I don't know, but compared to the other figures, at least he has a lot of alternate 
hands and you know he has fire effects so maybe compared to the other figures yes this is this is more closer maybe to the price range that they gave but I don't know I think McFarlane can still do better for the $30 price range it, it, there should be more you know accessory there or at least an additional articulation to differentiate their collector edition maybe you know give them a tie swivel at least I think for me I'll be happy if, if their figure have a tie swivel all uh, that could distinguish the collector edition <laughs> you know if it is a McFarlane collector edition expect that it has a tie swivel Anyway, joking aside, should they have just released this as a normal version? Yeah, because to be honest, I don't really need that card stand. I'm okay with the normal art card that McFarlane gave. But yeah, I'm, I think this comment is taking too long already. But, but either way, for me, this is a buy. This is a good figure. So I guess that's the end of my review and thank you for watching.